It's 5.30 a.m. in the Muzani region of North Rwanda, and Joseph is preparing for the day's excursion. After studying tourism at the University of Rubavu, Joseph, a passionate ornithologist since the age of 19, had a sad realization. I read some documentation about uh, some species in Rwanda are getting lost, like Makoa duck and the other species, which sometimes myself I try to find, but I don't see. I realize that if we don't do any, if I don't know, act any conservation activity will be lost and my kids will not be able to see birds. So in 2022, he founded the Rugezi Bird Watching Club, an association that raises awareness about the need to protect birds. Today, it trains around 20 students from the University of Rugezi. I have a very few ones, so you should share. Aged 17 to 21, the students are all passionate about ornithology, the scientific study of birds. Uh, what I'm waiting is to, to see if the, the bird which is in Msanzi district is the same in the bird which is in Kigali city. To catch a glimpse of these birds, they start with a 30-minute walk along the roads and fields to reach the Nyakinama Valley. So when we are watching birds, I told you, you use binocular and field guide book. Once in the field, the students first learn to recognize the different bird species. When we found birds, I told you a, a family name. So family name is the last name of the birds. For instance, if we say yellow-billed duck, duck is the family, is the family name. So when you are checking in your field guide book, you come here on the last pages and you check the family name, which is Duck. Joseph, a tour guide for seven years now, shares all his birdwatching secrets. When you are noting your, the, the birds on their notebook, keep in mind to, to write as it is shown here. So normally uh, our activity is uh, among promoting citizen science in Iran, so that they need to give skills and the knowledge to all local people or community in the country so that they can be able to understand the importance of birds and the biodiversity in general. They can say, we don't have some birds here around, but with the skill, they can stand like this, then they see about five to ten birds. Are you with me? During this three-hour excursion, Students also learn how to use different tools. With this laser pointer, I, sh I, I, I use, I, I told you, check the green dot, then follow. This is a parabola, which helps to record the bird's calls. Before you start to record, um, you should make sure that your phone is connected with the parabola through this cable. You see the wave form coming on, the, on your screen, which means that you, you are ready to record. Using Planet Birdsong, a free application that uses artificial intelligence to recognize and record the sounds of birds, the students list the species that live in the area. For those bird species, as I listened and understood their sounds, it makes me to be very closer to them and it makes me to have a strong feelings for conserving them as well as trying to convince and encourage my local community people to conserve those bird species. And it was so amazing due to use different bird equipment, you know, bird watching equipment like the pointer, binocular, feed guides. During these outings, Joseph always takes the opportunity to promote conservation in the local communities. Today, with Esperance, a resident of Kaguhu. Okay. Uh, one day I decided to start with the local farmers around the wetland we use to see birds so that we can take them also, we do the same activity, how, like what we do, and they have those skills and the knowledge. That day, the group recorded five species, including the pied crow, the yellow-billed duck, and the grey sparrow. 
Just 100 kilometers away lies Kigali, the Rwandan capital. The Center of Excellence in Biodiversity and Natural Resource Management at the University of Rwanda has created a database of all the bird calls recorded by the country's seven ornithology clubs. So, so you can identify tropical bulbo is our plan to be this long data. So what I do is to go into each email and download the data. So this data are useful for policy decision making. Here in Uganda, we, we are promoting ecosystem restoration project. When you compare the biodiversity status we had while making the assessment, and now the status is, has been improved. Since the project was launched in 2019, more than 120,000 recordings have been registered. 